Oh, hello, exercisers. Yeah, that's right. Stay in the frame. Ah, uh, welcome to Thirsty Thursday. Future Thursday. Future Thursday? Okay. Tomorrow. It's the Tomorrow. It's Wacky Wednesday today. Anyway, <laughs> here we go. Got a warm up 200 meter run. Okay, once you're back, you are on to 12 alternating reverse lunges. Mike's gonna show us what those look like. I'd like you to have a big vertical shin. Okay, keep your knee tracking over that ankle and stay tall. So no folding forward at the hip. Okay, nice vertical torso. Once you are done with that, 12 alternating, you're gonna grab your plate. You're gonna pick it up like a steering wheel on a huge car. You're gonna go ground to overhead. So tap, press. I want you to exaggerate that press. Get nice and push back behind you. Okay, but keep those ribs down. Crunch your abs. Be super strong. 200 meter run, 12 lunges, 15 plate overhead. Look at that, fast motion. Uh, I would hit pause right now and finish those three rounds. Once you are done, we've got a little bit of mobility. We're gonna go five world's greatest each side. So big lunge step, hand down, elbow to in step. Then you're gonna reach that hand up and rotate as much through your mid back as you can. Not bad. From there, you're gonna push your hips up and back. I'd like you to keep your fingertips on the ground. And then, for added fitness, flexibility, and fanciness, you're gonna lift your toes on your front foot. Okay, that will amplify your awesomeness. Five times. Do that. Don't rush like Mike, take your time. You're gonna be like Mike, make it to 93 Bulls, Michael Jordan. Yeah. Not uh, this one. Me. You need it. Do them all. So get those five and five. Once you are done, we're going from a Cossack squat, which is kind of like a side lunge with a little turn up, to a drop lunge or a curtsy lunge. Mike's going to show us what that looks like. Once you're in that side lunge, turning it into a Cossack means toes go up to the ceiling. This is going to get a little stretch in that bent knee calf, okay, or bent leg calf, sorry. And then we're going to get that hamstring a little bit of adductors on that side. So from there, you're going to stand. You're going to keep that toe up foot fixed. You're going to take your other foot, step behind, square your hips up to the front, and then do a little drop lunge. So most of the time when we see this done, we skip the squaring the hip back up, and then it sort of defeats the purpose. You're really just doing a torquey knee reverse lunge, okay? So Cossack, toe up, come back up, square the hips back forward, drop lunge. Five each direction, because five's a good number. Science. Look how fancy this guy is. Just moving. Mm -hmm. Huh? Yeah, that's why they call it the curtsy lunge. Don't do that. Not bad. <laughs> Not bad. Oh. Oh. Uh, pretty good. Okay, once you're done with that, we're going to go into a little down dog. Mike's going to show us from the side instead of from the ass. Okay, so he's going to get hips up nice and high. He's going to push through that mid-back. And while he's doing that, he's just going to march his calves. 
So a little bent knee march, get some length in those calves, reaching those heels down. Also light up those shoulders a little bit, get you moving. 20 of those. Just ruined my throwing you the band from off the screen. Have your band thrown to you by a person wearing gloves. Safer that way, okay? Definitely more than three meters away. Uh, we have a little shoulder warm up. So we're gonna start with band W's. As you do this, think about pulling your shoulders down and back. Okay, so not all jacked up in the traps. Shoulders down to your back pockets, chest is through. Mike's gonna pull that apart. So we're creating that W shape. Once you're in that W shape, I want you to hold for two seconds. Out, hold. Biceps stay fixed. They stay tight to the side, okay? And then we're gonna work on that external rotation, that strength and control in that end range. Once you have 400 of those, what? Okay, do eight. Jeez, tough negotiator, this guy. You're gonna go band pull apart, so palms up. If you're super strong or your band is super weak, it's kind of the same thing. Uh, you can hold on to one side of it, or if, it, like I said, you can go into that double. Depends, okay? I still need you to be able to retract those shoulder blades and open all the way up. Okay, think about your shoulder blades coming together, together in the back. Again, shoulders are down into your back pocket. Your traps are not up here. Pretty good. Once you've got eight of those, eight to 12, somewhere in there, we're now gonna go on the diagonal. Okay, so we're gonna go 45 degrees off the shoulder, up and down, still, you can play with it. I would probably go palms up still on this one, on both hands. Oh. Oh. But that's just me. Shoulder's burning. Burning. Oh, you're doing it right. Once you've got eight that way, you're gonna switch the hand that's going up for eight the other way. Okay, once you've got those eight, you're gonna stand on your band. When you stand on your band, just stay still, okay? Let's not wreck the band. But from here, we're gonna do a little Cuban press. So we're gonna go scarecrow arms, rotate up, press. For a little added bonus, once you're up overhead, let's pull apart. Come back down, shoulders rotate around. Mike's really doing it. You got the pull apart part. Yeah. That's okay. It's okay. Oh. oh. <laughs> Lots to think about. <laughs> Lots to think about. Eight to twelve there. I think I'm done for the day. And you should be ready to go. Uh, a couple quick things I want you to think about on this strength portion. We've got alternating front rack lunges. So we're gonna imagine Mike has a barbell. He's gonna step into that lunge. If we see he's got shoulders stacked over the hips, okay, that's perfect. We don't wanna be forward. The front rack should stop you from going forward anyway. Uh, but when you stand, think about pushing into the barbell with the hands, pro tip, and then pushing hard through the heel as you come up. What we want is that step back. What we do not want is a stutter step back, okay? If you stutter step more than once, it's probably too heavy. Sometimes you get off balance, sometimes there's a little loss of concentration, that's okay. But if it's a function of you not actually being able to press back, decrease the weight to something where you can press back strong. Uh, on our barbell rollouts, 
Mao, we are not prepared. This is, if done properly, going to tax your whole, okay, so shoulder complex, it's going to get your lats and for sure those abs, okay? What we want to make sure of is that we're staying in a nice hollow body. So we get set here and then we roll out and then we pull back in in that hollow. We don't want to be rolling out in that excessive arch position. Okay, so nice hollow, strong position, rolling out as far as you can. And then we're going to think about pushing into that barbell as we pull back with the lats and the chest. Okay? It's pretty taxing. Work at going further as you can, as far as you can, I guess, with control, okay? They're pretty fun. But be careful. Mike's that's the those are hard face. Okay? Uh, our barbell Hanged overhead. Mike's gonna just dump these plates quick, just so you're aware. Uh, you can go clean and jerk or you can go snatch. So the hang's gonna go anywhere above the knee to the shoulder and overhead. Okay, or we can snatch it. Either way, totally fine. We will accept both. Uh, that 20 minute AMRAP is going to be super fun. Just keep moving. Goodbye.